Hi, I'm Charlie White, I'm a leadership coach and trainer, and I want to talk today about low resilience. So resilience is one of those terms that means different things to different people. So in this context, I'm going to be talking about it in terms of bouncing back from challenges. Um, and having high resilience really helps us in demanding roles because it means that if challenges do occur, it doesn't send us off track. We can keep going and keep achieving what we want to achieve. So as leaders, one of the things that can really help us is to identify what it is that triggers us to have low resilience. So perhaps it's doing a particular task, perhaps it's working with a particular colleague, whatever it is that tips you over into not being your best self and perhaps feeling lower in confidence than you would have done ordinarily do. When you know what those triggers are, you can plan for them in advance and think, oh, that is something that I find tricky, that is something that knocks my resilience, and think, how can I get myself into the best possible mindset and prepare as fully as I can for that situation? And that will just help you to keep your resilience on an even keel so that it isn't knocked too much when you face these more tricky times. If low resilience is something that you really are struggling with on a day-to-day -day basis and you want to know how can I become more resilient, um, there is lots that we can do together and it's a really, really common problem. Um, so get in touch and let's have a chat about what we can do. It might be some one-to-one -one coaching, perhaps some away day with your team, perhaps some training. 